this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post to my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so we're going to be jumping once again in the Eagles playbook, uh, and this is going to be uh, the single back ace pair flex. Uh, this is a very good uh, formation. It's got a lot of good plays in it. Uh, and what I like about this particular uh, formation, or uh, formation out of the Eagles playbook, is a very unique play called slot fade shot. And this is out of the single back ace pair flex slot fade shot what I like about this play is that it allows you to attack your opponent in multiple different areas it's got a lot of glitchy routes that you can use against your opponent to really establish kind of a harassment play and you could set up uh, bigger plays down the road with this so let's go ahead and jump into this play real quick we're just gonna go ahead and run this against random uh, cover three defenses now uh, the key to this uh, particular play is uh, the, the combination of these unique routes these are routes that you can't hot route into uh, you've got an out and up uh, like a, a shake route with the, with the tight end uh, what I like to do uh, with this particular play is to go ahead and take my um, outside linebacker there or outside uh, or, uh, tight end uh, Selleck and I'm actually going to go ahead and block him if my opponent's bringing any kind of uh, cover three blitzes or cover two blitzes against me and I can always go ahead and motion that tight end over he's not really going to affect anything whatsoever whether I'm going to leave him in that area or block him on this side so and also I can I can build uh, basically a, a running uh, like a, a running scheme out of this too if I want to so that's one of the things that you can take in consideration now with this particular um, a play really what we're gonna be doing is looking off the left hand side we're gonna see if uh, green Beckham uh, has a, a defender that comes down or actually floats up if the defender floats up essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop him right away um, if the defender floats down I'm gonna make my progressions which would be Matthews uh, off to the sideline and then I've got a check and release with uh, with my other running back, Matthews, uh, on the left-hand side. But uh, if the uh, corner does not defend this little um, hitch and in, in slant route, I'm going to go ahead and, and abuse my opponent with him. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop him real quick because you can pick up a good 10 yards, 5 yards if he's not shading down against cover 3. So if you got an opponent that's playing a lot of cover 3 against you, you can pretty much go ahead and deliberately just, just rifle this ball. Um, pretty much 90% uh, of the time and be able to pick up easy, cheap yards. So that's going to force your opponent to do that. If he's giving up five, six yards uh, just on a very fast completion, he's he's not uh, completing anything, uh, that's just going to be a very, very annoying thing to stop. So that's what I do like about this ticket of play is that you've got that. Uh, you, can, you can check down and then get those easy, cheap yards against cover three. Now, uh, another thing you could do is you can just essentially wait and then you've got a slant on the backhand side. So if he uses that area, uh, he also has to go ahead and stop uh, that slant uh, animation on the backhand side. You could pick up some pretty easy yards over the middle. So that's what's unique about this route. It's just it's so difficult to stop. Uh, you can just pop it right away. Uh, and then also uh, on the back side, you have a, a check and release with the running back. So a lot of different areas that you can beat your opponent with. Uh, the uh, red route is, or the, the, the fade route essentially is a route that's just kind of clearing things out but you can see right here I think this is a cover three match um, and he's st still uh, the defenders out of position uh, in that type of coverage but uh, you could just keep dumping down it's just very easy so what if your opponent's in cover two? Well, the great thing about this particular this play is that the tight end route um, is designed to basically build cover two, um, and you're going to be able to go ahead and get a huge play down in the middle of the field if he jumps into a cover two shell. So he's going to have to manually take that away because of the way the, the routes are actually complemented. Uh, because what happens is that the defenders actually have to take care of that crossing run over the middle and you can essentially go ahead and look for that. Now also sometimes in cover two uh, you might be able to hit the sideline uh, with this defender uh, with, the, with that uh, outside wide receiver so essentially he's going to have to pick his poison on what he's going to basically cover and then also you've got the the check down with the running back so I've got some pressure off the edge. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and hit this again. I got the check down that I can jump into. So if the defender actually floats up against the 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 uh, the, the uh, squat and, and go that the little shake route, I can always go ahead and check down to the running back, essentially forcing him to defend three different areas of the field that he just can't do with his user. There's no way he can bait you uh, out of a cover two shell. 
uh, with this this particular defense. So that's what I do like about it. So look at all the different areas I'm hitting. I'm hitting the ball deep down. So this essentially is a play that's going to destroy uh, cover two, and you're going to harass a cover three uh, shell uh, with it. So that's why that's really really good about it. So that was just a bad pass by by the tight end or by the uh, by Wentz. Let's see if we can get away with it. Nope. Uh, but you can see, just there's no way you can cover all these areas in the field. And also, you can always just you can always just check down uh, to the underneath route. If he doesn't have anybody in the area, you can always go ahead and check down to that. Uh, so you, he's going to have to cover some pretty major distance with this against cover two shell, and um, he's going to definitely get exposed uh, with the shell right here. And that's what's great about this particular play is that you've got that big hit with the tight end over the middle. So against cover four, um, it's still going to be the same as cover three. So you're just going to go ahead and pop that little route um, underneath. Uh, the, the the defender is not going to get there in time. Uh, so that's if you see the guys off, basically you're just going to go ahead and pop them for the easy yards. Uh, this is a good play to go ahead and throw against your opponent in first down type of situations, uh, first and second down situations where you uh, have the luxury of going with a, a more consistent play, uh, but he's he can't stop that route with a cover four unless he presses his, and disguises his coverage. Now man coverage, you can once again still go uh, to that if you got off coverage but it, if it is press um, then you might be able to go ahead and hit him up top uh, with the big play opportunity right here if he's actually pressing his guy so that's what I do like about the play so this is going to be a play I'm going to be jumping into uh, in this Madden Eagle scheme uh, the single back ace pair this is going to be one of those plays I'm going to call out of the huddle uh, I have access to a counter um, in this particular formation then also four verticals and then play action uh, counter waggle which is going to be another audible that I can jump into and it just allows me a lot of different reads I can go ahead and tack my opponent off to the right hand side uh, showing some kind of um, animation uh, or run animation so it's just going to go ahead and throw them off a little bit so once again to my subscribers I really appreciate the support I hope you guys picked up um, uh, at least a t an idea on how to run this play it's just it's a very good play to go ahead and use if your opponent is not ready for it and you could definitely get some pretty good yards with it and definitely establish him and force him to do things that he probably doesn't want to do so thanks a lot for your support. Until next time.